Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagnot. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. Today we'll perform a live demonstration of the 3D Expanse release 19X on cloud and I will show you an application called Natural Shape. It's a design application that allows you to uh, make conceptual and basic shape uh, but also work with dead solid bodies such as step file since it's based on direct modeling technology. So I've decided to do the video in two parts. First, I will introduce you the application and what we can do with the different features. And then I will import a step file into the 3D experience and we will see what we can do with it. Okay, so first you need to have the 3D expanse rich client open and I will switch to the 3D side of the compass. And as you can see, I have plenty of applications. So I will just search for the application I want. And this one is natural shape. So when I click on it, it's going to create a 3D part and I will call it intro to natural shape. Enter, it's going to create a 3D part. Okay, and now we are on the application and I will start by creating a new 3D shape. So it will add a body to my 3D part and natural shape here, as you can see, upgrade just to be sure we are working there. And we have some basic features here. So you can either draw directly, make a rectangle, a circle, or create directly a cylinder and a sphere. I will just start by uh, drawing a rectangle. And as you can see, there is no plane. So you have more or less to uh, find the plane you want. So if I work there, it will automatically uh, draw on this area. And if you see, I move slowly. Now I will draw on the top view. So I will do that. Uh, on the top view, that's what I prefer. And I will just make my rectangle. What you can see here is it's very conceptual. Huh? So you can see that you have some constraint that appears here and I will just click on the background and it will make my, my surface here. So it's a surface and we will play with the tool to transform this surface into a solid. And Every time you click on something with the natural uh, shape application, you will have this small contextual menu that appears and it will propose you different uh, features according to the selection you had. So when I click on the background, there is nothing. I click back to the surface and uh, we also have some application, some feature here on the bottom of the action bar and we have some uh, feature here as well. So I will select the feature uh, extrude do not select move because if you want to select move, it will just move the surface. I will select the feature extrude to transform this surface into a solid. And as you can see, you have this small uh, point or a balloon and you can just move it. And what you can see here is I have the value so I can just click on the value to change it. I don't want uh, this value here. I want minus 40, uh, enter. Okay. And now it's, it's switch. I can still modify it again or you can click on the background. And now it's uh, becoming a, a, a solid. So as you can see, compared to a basic part design application, there is no features appearing in the spec tree. Uh, the idea here, it's more or less like a clay modeling, but more for mechanical use. Uh, it's just for making quickly a conceptual shape. Uh, and it's very, uh, it's available for everyone. It's very simple to use. Okay, let's see what we can do uh, next. I will uh, make a circle, for example, and it will automatically detect the, the surface on the top of my uh, cube. So I will make this. Okay, and as you can see, I can either move the surface or I can uh, extrude. But if I extrude on top, it will make uh, an extrusion. And if I go down, it will make a pocket. So this is what I want. I'm going to make a pocket. No problem for there. Uh, let's add some uh, draft. Uh, to this uh, cube. So let's select this. And this will be the neutral element of our uh, mold later, for example. So uh, I will select this uh, five degrees. You can change it as well. I will keep it five degrees. You can I see, uh, either select the value here or modify it here directly. Uh, click on the background and there we finish the, the feature. What else can we do? Uh, when you have uh, an angle, for example, you can select chamfer. So it's very easy. Uh, you can click on control if you want to do multi selection. Okay. And I can also, uh, if I want, select. Uh, so that was a fillet, sorry. And this here is a chamfer. So I will make a chamfer on this edge. Uh, and if, it's, if you feel it's too big, you can just reduce it. 
Okay, uh, what else can we do with this solid? So I will select natural shape and here you have the different features you can do. Uh, let's go maybe to advance or back to... I, I want to do something. So here, as you can see, I have this uh, boundary parallel curve. So it will make... It will find the... An offset of this uh, profile here, so 2.5 millimeter. So if I click on the background, it's created, and now I can just select this uh, element and I can put it lower or upper. I will put it a bit lower, okay. What else can we do? We can uh, do here on this face, maybe you want to do a shell, okay. Here it's working. And I want to show you something a bit more advanced. Uh, very, very cool with this tool is you can select uh, either you can uh, deform manually and this is very hard to do in uh, part design. So I can just imagine that you have this finger on the on the 3D model. You can just manually move it. OK, and then you can just deform the part. Uh, you can do it also in another way, a bit more like in Imagine and Shape, where here you can control the, the, the point. So if you want more than two, you can three. And you can also select the line like that or select the point and you can modify uh, your design. Of course, if you go too far, uh, you will uh, encounter uh, the other feature. But I, I feel it's really easy to work with uh, for a natural uh, or direct modeling application. So these are pretty hard to do in part design and that could be a reason to use natural shape. Okay, so this is uh, more or less a very basic introduction to a natural shape. Of course, if you click on save, it's going to be saved and you can retrieve this uh, later. You can do drawing, etc. It's like working like a part. Now, let's see what we can do when we import a step file. So, I uh, will go to an application that few of you know. So, I will just go on the, on the web. And I will go to my first dashboard, or it's my my favorite link to the 3D Experience web interface. I log in. And an application that very few people knows is this uh, part supply. And I think it's really great. It's a, it's a catalog in the 3D Experience uh, for having a 3D part. So it's looking like that. Uh, you can either go to categories or supplier. I will go to supplier, but well, here it's pretty nice because you can see what you want. If you want uh, actuator, light bulb, etc., you have plenty. Me, I will just go to suppliers and you have plenty of suppliers in this list. Uh, I've spotted an engine that I liked, so I will go to Leroy Summer. They are making uh, engine like that, so electrical AC motor. Uh, for example, uh, let's take a brushless, very simple. Uh, you have different models huh, according to, uh, you can also go to the website and check if there is a catalog, etc. You have some information. Uh, for me, I will just select one model, very simple. Uh, so you can click here directly to have a 3D viewer and everything again, it's on the web. Huh? As you can see, this is Google Chrome. So I can just have a 3D viewer online. It's pretty helpful. Uh, now we'll just click on download and you can have v5 so it works or step. I will just go for step. It's going to download my file. I will go in the folder. I will, so it's on the other side, sorry. I will just do uh, an extract. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay. And then I will go back to my 3d experience and we will do plus import and i will go to stp uh, for step and i will search directly on my uh, download file this is where i have it it's in this one great so open click on ok so it's going to import the 3d model and save it in the database as well and we the good thing is we are already in natural shape here. Uh, it's looking great, this engine, and I want to show you what we can do. This is a dead solid. So, well, you can you can work with part design, of course. You can also do some uh, feature recognition. 
but uh, what I want to show you is we can basically, uh, if you have no skill in mechanical design, you can just work with um, natural shape. So I will select this that solid. Okay, so we select this one and we have this, it's a bit hidden here, but we have this, uh, this button here that said that you will import this dead solid into a natural shape. Okay, so you decide a bit the tolerance you want on, on the thing. I will go to industrial equipment. Okay, uh, now don't worry because the dead solid is still here. You are just going to work with the natural shape here. And well, what you can do is uh, if you are not happy with uh, the lens here, oops, here I, I can increase or modify the, the chamfer. Uh, you can maybe, for example, if you are not happy with this uh, hole, so maybe I need to go to move and you can just move it. Well, of course. You have to be in contact with the person making uh, this uh, this engine since it's uh, an engine that are maybe industrial uh, designed in the industrial way. But if you want a specialized uh, engine, for example, you could ask, uh, I want a different hole or etc. Uh, let me see. You can also in, in that way, I will increase the diameter. Okay. So it's very easy to work with. It's uh, simple and and here I want a chamfer. Okay, it didn't work. Okay, I feel it. So that was an example of what you can do with dead solid. So maybe in that case it's uh, more just to show you that we can just work with dead solid, but also if you have a colleague or um, a subcontractor sending you a dead solid and you cannot work with, really with it, you can just work with this application called Natural Shape. So that was the video for me today. Thank you very much for watching the video on YouTube. And if you want to see more like that, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share as well. That's really good for us. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.